Kevin Stefanski talked about uh, those Las Vegas Raiders and the challenges in front of the Browns earlier today. We'll bring the guys in this evening and uh, get some work done. And it's an important week. This is a uh, AFC opponent, good football team that we're facing at our place on Saturday. You know, the only show in town, which I think the guys are excited about. And uh, it's a good team. Coach Bisacci is, uh, you know, a veteran special teams coordinator. I think he's doing a great job leading that team right now. Uh, on offense, they're they're very very explosive. I think Carr has uh, incredible arm talent. Uh, you know Waller, uh, Renfro, just an impressive group of pass receivers. A great a running back that's a complete running back on defense. You know it's a Gus Bradley defense, so that poses uh, its own challenges. So we're going to have to work real hard this week to understand the intricacies of that defense. Uh, and they have two really really good edge rushers. And um, let's welcome in Tim Bielek from the Plain Dealer in Cleveland.com. So, Tim, um, not ideal. You're down um, a number of offensive linemen, your main wide receiver, another tight end. Uh, and this is a game you have to win. Uh, Brown 7 and 6, um, still very much alive in the AFC, but you have to beat AFC teams. No doubt about it. I mean, there's no good week for this sort of thing to happen. I mean, we saw last year the Browns lost their entire receiver room to COVID tracing. Um, and they ended up losing to the Jets, who were the second worst team in the league last season. So, I mean, this doesn't come at a good time. It never can come at a good time, but especially against a, in a must-win game against the Raiders team that, while they have been struggling, I know they got blown out by the Chiefs on Sunday, but, you know, they're going to be fighting for their playoff lives just like the Browns are. And this almost plays like a pseudo-elimination game, I think, for the wild card. If the Browns win, obviously they go to eight and six. They had the potential to be in first place in the AFC North by the end of the day Sunday. Obviously, with all these positive tests, that makes it very difficult because on offense, you lose two more starters on that line. You lose another tight end. You lose Jarvis Landry. In addition to not, already not having David Njoku, who I was looking at the timeline, he tests, since he was a, went on the COVID list last Tuesday, the, there's a potential since that was eight days, since it's been about eight days, he, there, according to the NFL timeline, they say vaccinated individuals can, can return within 10 days. That potentially puts him in Friday. So that's a potential he could play. Harrison Bryan, you know, there's always the potential he could come back. As Kevin Stefanski talked about him coming back, expected to be practicing tomorrow. So you at least get some good news there. But, I mean, make no mistake, the Browns already were in a must-win situ must situation. And the task got just that much harder for Saturday.